Our discussion, uh, just got to pause for a moment. We do have some breaking news tonight. There are reports of shots fired at one of the largest shopping centers in the New York area. It's happening at the Garden State Plaza in Paramus, New Jersey, about 25 minutes west of the island of Manhattan. Police are there right now. Paramus police believe there is a shooter inside the mall. Again, they do believe there is a gun gunman somewhere in the mall. On the phone is uh, Eddie Common, and who works at the Pacific Sunwear store inside the, the, the store. Uh, Eddie, what have you seen? What have you heard? Um, the only thing that I've heard of is that like either six or seven gunshots um, around like 9.20 p.m. I walked out the store just as he was going on, and there were just people running like crazy. So I quickly just closed my doors, ran to the back, turned off all the light music and everything just to stay hidden. So that's where you, uh, you are currently now still inside the mall? Yes. Okay, I, I don't want to... We were told by police officers not to move. So, so you, have seen, you have seen police on the scene? Yes. Uh, 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 can you say where you heard the shots emanating from? Um, most likely from the Macy's area of the mall, um, which is to the right of us. Um, and you said about six shots, is that correct? About like six or seven, yeah. How rapid were the shots? How, how, how one right after no, the other? they weren't rapid at all. It was like maybe one, and then like 30 seconds later, another one. It wasn't one right after the other. It was pretty much like a shotgun sound. Did you know right away what it was, that it was shots? No. At first, I thought maybe something like a construction crew dropped something or something like that, and I figured, okay, whatever of it. And then when I just started hearing it again, and saw people running and the shots getting louder, that's when I figured out what it was and first thing I did was close my doors as fast as possible and hide. What time uh, does the mall close there normally? Uh, 9.30. 9.30. So you said these shots were around 9.20? Yes. So how cr crowded uh, was the mall at 9.20? I mean, not really crowded at all. It's been a very slow day for the mall, so there wasn't really a lot of people inside the mall. You said you saw people running. Uh, about how many people did you see running? About like maybe 20 total. And to your knowledge, have there been any shots since those initial uh, shots that you heard are around 920? No. Uh, when no, was the last no. time you saw police officers on the scene telling you uh, that they're... Maybe a minute ago, just running by with shields. And now they're screaming. W sorry, what are they screaming? They're screaming at somebody to put their hands up. Obviously, do not uh, leave the position you're in, but uh, if you can just tell us anything that you, uh, you, you hear. You heard them yelling to someone to get their hands up? Or you heard, heard yeah. them saying someone has their hands up? Telling somebody to get their hands up. Do you know about approximately how far away those, those calls are coming from? Most likely, if anything, like right around the corner from me. So pretty close. Are you hearing anything else? No. How long have you been uh, been in the position that you're in right now? Uh, since March. No, I'm sorry. I mean, in the physical position that you're in right now. You, you were there. Oh, you got I'm there. Right. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. No. Um, I'm interested I mean, in employment history, I keep but but walking but more, around my store. You you've been walking around your store. Yeah. Oh, when I see people, I see images through my mirrors. They're outside of my. They're like right next to my store. So. What 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 are, what are you seeing right now? I see a shotgun. I'm not sure. I can't tell if it's a human or a police officer. Oh, police officer, it's a badge. So you see a police officer with, with, a, with a, 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 what appears to be a shotgun? Yes. Um, are, are they, do they seem on point? Do they seem relaxed? Or does it seem like, you said they're calling for somebody to have their hands up. Are you, do you see at all who has, has their hands up? No. They're walking past my store, the state police. About how many police have you seen uh, in the time that you've been inside the store? Um, around, about like 25. So there's a heavy... I've seen local police, I've seen SWAT police, and now there's state police. So there's a heavy police presence? Yes. Are there other customers in the store with you? Uh, no. We were... Nobody was here when this all happened, so... But what has this been like? I mean, what, what, what has been going through your mind these last 40 minutes? Um, pretty much staying as far away from the windows as possible. But as an actual shooter, I'm not getting anywhere near close enough to getting injured. Like, I even have my associates who's nowhere near the door area whatsoever, so. 
Uh, well, Eddie. I'm just hoping that they catch the person and they can eventually leave here because I do not need to be here any longer right now. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine. It's got. To, I can't imagine what it's been like. Um, Eddie, we're going to continue to check in with you uh, if you can. Um, uh, just obviously stay with you. Stay where. Stay where you are, um, Eddie. I appreciate it. Ali Kozik also is in this, uh, the mall. Uh, Ali's joining us. Ali, I don't don't give us your exact location. But what have you heard? What have you seen? Um, well, about ten minutes before we were about to close for the night, we started hearing loud bangs, uh, and. Everyone started running throughout the mall, and someone ran past our store and screamed for us to, to close our door, um, and we didn't really know what was going on. And about 10 seconds later, I saw someone dressed in all black carrying a, a large gun walk past our store, um, and ever, it was just chaos. Everyone was just kind of running to wherever they could. Um, again, I, I just want to caution you, I don't want you to give the location of your store uh, in our conversation just for, for obvious reasons. Um, wh what did the person look like? You said they were dressed all in black. Do you have any more description of, of what their face looked like? How were they walking? Were they walking fast? It almost was like when you're watching like a horror movie and the, the killer is walking slowly. That's what it seemed like. Um, he was wearing all black. It almost looked like body armor of some kind. Um, it really was, uh, as soon as I saw the gun, I just kind of turned and ran. I really didn't get that great of a look up at him. I was just kind of concerned about getting out of there and running and getting into the back of our store. Well, that's, that's obviously an incredibly smart move on your part. You said it's possible he was wearing some form of body armor. That's what it, it looked like. And did you have, uh, was it just one weapon in his hand? And it, you said it appears to be some sort of a rifle? It, all I saw was one large gun. I'm not. I'm not really familiar with a lot of guns, but it, the the gunshots were just like a loud bang, um, with like some space in between. It wasn't like um, like a like a fast like machine gun. It was just a loud bang, bang, bang. We heard about like eight or nine shots. Eight, you say eight or nine shots. And about how far apart were those shots? About like 10, 15 seconds, if that. And how far away was the shooting from uh, from from where where you uh, where you are? Um, I, I mean, it sounded like it was like ten feet outside of our store. That's so. Gonna... I mean, did, I'm not did, really. I, honestly, I was like inside of the store that I'm in, so I didn't see where it originated. But it it was it sounded very close to us. And do you have a sense of? You said you saw people running. Did it appear as if the, uh, th this gunman was, was walking toward the direction that they, were that they were running away? I mean, did it look like he was walking after them or were just kind of wandering around? Um, it just looked like from, like, the Nordstrom area of the mall, he was just going straight and straight down. And that's how people were running and running out of that area, just kind of into any store that they could and, cl and clearing the hallways of the mall. We were told the, the mall obviously is on lockdown right now. Um, the, the last person we talked to said uh, they had seen dozens of police officers from multiple uh, different jurisdictions and, and uh, law enforcement agencies on the scene. Have you seen that as well? Have you seen a lot of police on the scene? Well, when we weren't um, sure what was happening, I kind of came out of the back of our store to look, and I saw about 10 or 15 police officers scaling kind of the sides of the stores. Um, across from us, so it looked like they were they were going toward the way that the people had been running and that the gunman had been walking. So, um, but I've I've seen mall security and I've seen multiple police officers um, from Paramus and other uh, local areas. So there's definitely a lot of police officers on the scene, and I've been getting flooded with text messages and calls that there are tons of cop cars outside of the mall and tons of different cops in the mall. But from where we are, I can't really tell what's going on out there at well, the moment. Ali, I can tell you, we just have gotten live pictures from outside the mall. It looks like at the entrance to Nordstrom. And as, as you as said, there are uh, a large number of police vehicles uh, with their flashing lights uh, all throughout that area. So that Nordstrom's mall, that's where you believe uh, you saw the shooter walking away from? Yeah, again, not trying to give away my location, right. but I'm close to that area. And that's where it sounded originally like that's where it was coming from. How are you doing? I'm uh, freaking out. It's probably one of the scariest things I've ever been around and, and not really knowing what's going on or what's happening. Um, it's definitely really scary. 
Uh, but I'm just happy that I'm safe and the girls that I work with are safe. So as long as we get out of here, um, as long as none of us are hurt, but definitely very scary. Well, I don't need to tell you this, but obviously you should stay in the location that you're in. Uh, and continue to just stay down um, and wait for law enforcement personnel to tell you. Have you heard anything since those shots? Uh, uh, excuse me, wh about what time were those shots? We had one report that they were around 9.20. Yeah, it started like about, yeah, exactly. We, we closed at 9.30. It was about 10 minutes before we were about to close. A and have you heard really anything since then? No, not really. Um, I heard dogs barking before, um, but other than that, I really haven't heard anything. Um, I'm the police seemed like they were, yeah, being very quiet and just um, trying to catch whoever this person was. But I really haven't heard anything other than that. Uh, well, Ellie, I, I'm going to, uh, to to get off the phone with you. I appreciate you uh, talking to us. And again, just stay in the location where you are. Uh, you're doing great. Just try to stay calm. And uh, oh, the I'm police. Trying. Yeah, you stay strong. Okay, thank you. Scott Garber is CNN satellite truck operator. He is on the scene. Scott, can you explain what you are seeing uh, all around you? Hi, Anderson. Uh, we just got here uh, at the Paramus Mall. We got here about 10 minutes ago. As you can see, a camera, a picture, we have a large presence of uh, many tourist police. Uh, there's probably 25 units here just outside the Nordstrom. Uh, some passerbys that we've been talking to, uh, one individual indicated that there's still a gunman loose in the mall. It's unconfirmed, but that was the passerby that reported that to me. Looks like uh, most people have uh, made it to their cars and have moved out, but they're saying that the mall is a lockdown. Um, other than what you can see with the cameras, our cameraman Rick Hall is panning right now, showing that uh, one on the other end of the mall there's another large presence. Uh, we heard this is where. Uh, this uh, gunman or the shooting or whatever, unconfirmed at this point, happened, started here at Nordstrom. Back to you, Anderson. So the, the I'm sorry, I just want to, to, to clarify, you, and, and where, where did you get the information and, and exactly where was the shooting incident uh, starting? Uh, what we're hearing is that Nordstrom was where the first incident, but that was from a passerby. That's not okay. any official word. Okay. Strictly people are walking by another a couple of our young, young uh, teenagers said that their brother was still inside. They haven't heard from him. We have no confirmation of any injuries or no official word from any uh, information officer at this point. Have you seen any uh, ambulances uh, on the scene? We have seen some drive by, not at this location. It seems they have moved to the other side of the mall. But at this point, no. Right here where we are at North all right, uh, Scott, I appreciate uh, you uh, you calling in. I know you have a lot of work to do. Um, I, I want to bring in uh, uh, Paul uh, Erlandson, or Erlandson. He's also on the phone. He's outside the mall. Paul, um, were, you pre were you inside the mall at any point, or are you, how have you been outside this whole time? Hey, how's it going? Uh, I was outside. I was walk in the process of walking through the front doors, actually, as um, a, a huge crowd of people were basically running towards me, and at, at first I had no idea what was going on. Um, so I never actually made it inside the mall, but I was just walking in when all this happened. And how long have you been outside? Uh, I mean, I'm still here. I'm in the parking lot now, a good distance away from the mall. So um, I'm, I'd, I'm definitely not in harm's way any longer, but I've been here since 9 o'clock. We are just getting our first images uh, outside the mall from our truck op, uh, 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 Scott, um, Scott Garber. W what we're seeing is the outside of the Nordstrom's with the number of police vehicles. Is that the vantage point you have as well? I'm actually on the west side of the mall, so I'm looking more at um, Neiman Marcus and, uh, like, California Pizza Kitchen is where I was, is the entrance that I was standing in front of. And what are you it seeing? It looks like at this point that they've actually shut off the lights inside the, the west side of the mall from what I can see. Um, and there are, like, a large number of police cars outside right now as well. Uh, Paul, listen, I, I appreciate you, uh, you being on the scene as well. And, and just, you know, uh, stay safe. Uh, I want to bring in uh, Kevin Flanagan.